Most other countries in this part of the world, it's a very highly patriarchal society. Women's health and particularly their sexual and reproductive health is not seen as a right at all. In Nepal constitution, it has written that the government is responsible to ensure the rights of the women during childbirth and the reproductive life. Right now, we cannot even say the word abortion without that whole stigma and shame of the word. Unsafe abortion is really killing women in the Philippines. Like three women die each day due to unsafe abortion and it has, it has to be addressed. Bangladesh is a very deeply religious country, but five years back, the gestational age has been increased to 12 weeks. There was a, another step forward. Permission of use of MRM was given by the government. Mostly the men, they didn't want to talk openly about the SHR issue. For example, the period of menstruation, they just told me that it's very useless for me. It's about the woman issue, not us. At school, they didn't take us. We had to experiment by ourselves. The lacking of the information is still the barrier for the woman and girl when they want to access to the service or want to know more about the information you get into SRHR. Safe abortion is their women's rights issue. SRHR issue is not personal. Personal issue and also it is a political issue. This is also the politics from the family to parliament also. Up to 28 weeks pregnancy can be terminated if there is a medical condition but for each and every girl or women they can terminate up to 12 weeks without any consent. Abortion is permitted in India, but what happens is abortion still remains. If you do not comply with those conditions, you are still penalized under the Indian Penal Code. As long as it is penalized under Indian Penal Code, it will remain a stigma. I also questioned why abortion is not being discussed openly. Because if we talk about human rights even, make it bigger, sexual and reproductive rights is actually within the whole range of rights. It is for everyone. So it has to be enjoyed by everyone and being exercised by everyone without the fear of discrimination and even violence or even persecution. And if they're not going to continue the pregnancy, then they can have an abortion. The young people should be understand about the right that they have. In Cambodia, the abortion is legal, but what I can see the controversy and secrecy is continuing to surround around the abortion practice. It then became a social stigma and for those who want to accept, they didn't dare to do that. I am for empowerment of women. If you have education, if you are empowered, then uh, you will not be vulnerable. It is something which is should be a right because a woman has a right to her own body. It should be her own choice. Our first lady is the president. It will be easier to bring the act. And you know, on this right, everything is there from pregnancy, safe abortion, all the discrimination, whatever needs to be exercised by women for their healthy and happy sexual reproductive health, it is there. But more than 90%, even the health workers, are not aware what is there. How can they exercise their rights without knowing? Educating about this right to safe motherhood and reproductive act is very important so that each and every boys and girls can exercise their right. When they understand about that, they can know we have to go or access to the service when they need. And the provider should be understand well about the SRHR information. They should be provided service without the judgmental and the confidential care should be provided with the respect. Women always is taking less dignity, less respect in the society because of when change any women related policy program law, which is very tough journey in our country because it's very much conservative uh, area we are living. We are not going up the very much positively. Some is changes, little bit, little bit changes. In our country, it is very difficult to promote women empowerment because it is a deeply religious society and at the same time it is dominated by the males. Most of the males are less educated. They are dominant by the philosophy of ignorance and that is the root cause of oppression of women and children also. There is something which leads to uh, mobility and mortality which is highly preventable. We are doing advocacy at the national level to see whether we can influence the policies and programs. One change is just small but significant. We apply for the MRM from the government health facilities. 
they approved. This is one of the achievement, I think. Advocacy is not easy, take time. Right from uh, sex workers to Dalit to uh, urban. So the whole spectrum is represented in our work. We have campaigns for polio, we have campaigns for contraceptive. We never have had a campaign for making people aware of abortion services. And that's something we would recommend. Mm -hmm.